Our today's topic is fossils in time and space and in which we will be discussing about the island paleobiogeography. So in this topic we will be discussing about the paleo means ancient biogeography of the islands. The modern oceans are littered with islands. There are many islands around the globe in the ocean. And these islands have their own biodiversity. They have their own species and how these different species were formed. That is the subject of our own uh, modern uh, uh, biogeography. Now, if we study the same thing in the ancient time, that would be paleogeography paleogeography of the island. But they, what are the problems with that? The biogeography of the modern islands is complex and it is hard to apply models based on modern islands to ancient examples. We cannot have a ancient island that was once present and apply the modern examples to it. So the, it, it is very very complex and we cannot apply the modern models to the ancient islands. So island biogeography is study of species composition and species richness on islands. So these two things are studied on the islands and we see that if what type of organisms are there, how much amount of those are particular species is present that is studied in the island biogeography. And also the island biogeography is a study aimed at establishing and explaining the factor that affect the species diversity of a specific community. That how particular species are more in amount. There are some uh, species which are decreasing or less in amount, right? So all of these things, these are also discussed in these uh, island biogeography. Most islands are isolated from the mainland and they are important powerhouse of speciation. Speciation is the process in which species are formed. So powerhouse of speciation means that there is a particular place, the island, in which the different species are formed. And they are much more evolved. Uh, the evolution rate in an uh, island is much more pronounced rather than on a mainland. Why? They have the smaller gene pool and they have more selection pressure. And due to that selection pressure, more speciation occurs. An example of that is the finches of Galapagos Island, which were first dis uh, discussed in these terms by the famous naturalist Charles Darwin. And on the basis of this, he evolved his ideas of uh, natural selection and evolution. So now, in the island biogeography, we discuss about the moving island complexes. There are whole islands, they move from one place to another due to the, uh, around the very large period of time. And this takes a lot of time um, due to tectonic movement of the earth. So if an island is separated from a mainland, then it evolves its own species. Now, if that island keeps on moving and collides slowly with another uh, continent, what happens? It transfers the species to that new continent. Now, you can see that the increased biodiversity, how does, does this happen? And the book uses the word Noah's Ark, just like Kashtiye Nu. Kashtiye Nu ki hi tarah se. Isa Kashtiye Nu ne tamam organisms ko liya. और उनको सराब से बचा के बाद में कोहे अरारात के ऊपर ठहर गई और तमाम जानदार जो हैं वो वहां से उतरे और दोबारा से नस्ले इंसानी और दूसरे जानदारों का जहूर हुआ जिंदगी का जहूर इसी तरह से एक आइलैंड जो कि एक कॉन्टिनेंट से टूटता है और उसके बाद वो अपने तौर पे इवॉल्व करता जाता है और बाद में जब वो दूसरे कॉन्टिनेंट के साथ जाके मिलता है तो वो नई स्पीशीज नई इवॉल्व स्पीशीज जो है वो एक नए मेन लैंड को दे देता है उसकी एग्जाम्पल है ट्रांजिट ऑफ इंडिया फ्रॉम गोंडवाना टू एशिया गोंडवाना एक बड़ा कॉन्टिनेंट था इट वॉज अ वेरी बिग कॉन्टिनेंट विच वॉज कंपोज ऑफ द साउथ अमेरिका 
Africa and Antarctica. The India was part of that continent and it separated from that and it continued moving towards the Eurasia. And now it is after so long time, it was part of Africa, now Africa, which is now Africa. Now, and it became the part of Asia later. And due to the collision, there were some uh, mountains formed. And you know the mountain, the Himalayas. The Himalayas were found due to that collision. And the India contains the same biogeography. And it contains the same species, or rel very much similar species to Africa due to the same reason. So island biotas, uh, biota means the faunas and floras are often diverse and with many endemic species and commonly with evidence that these species came originally from one or more source continent. So there might be various continents which can provide those species and when these species evolve, they are new species. And what we are discussing here, that where from these species came. And uh, the example is again, we have discussed Galapagos or Aldabra have become important site for biologists to watch evolution in action. So that means we can just see that how the same uh, species were evolved on one island and how these were evolved on another island differently. So we can see that how uh, we can see actually the evolution in action. It is difficult to understand the role of such islands through geological time. Why? Why it is difficult? Again, we have discussed that the islands have very short life. The islands are made inside ocean and they can be, uh, uh, they can be submerged at later period of time due to tectonic movement. They can be destroyed and entire biodiversity can be lost. By their very nature, they are very short-lived and located in tectonically active areas. Tectonic, uh, tectonically active areas means that where there are a lot of earthquakes and they are quickly lost and often destroyed. So when they are lost and destroyed, this entire species that were present on those islands will be lost. And we might not know that there was an island in a particular period of time at a particular place.